Hello, I'm going to walk you through how to add the international keyboard to your Chromebook in order to be able to type Spanish language characters like tilde and accent marks. So the first step in this is to come down to um, your time, all right, because right now you probably only have your English, like the standard English US keyboard activated. And then we're going to come to the gear so that we can access our settings. Now these settings are under advanced. And then from advanced, we would go to languages and inputs. And then from languages and inputs, we would go to inputs and keyboards. And then from here, we would go to add input methods. And what you're looking for is the English with international keyboard. So when you click on import methods, you'll see it here. You'll check it off and then it will be added to your list. And a cool thing about this is that you can toggle back and forth from the standard English to the English with international keyboard if you wanted to using a different shortcut, control space. And you'll notice down here in the bottom right hand corner when I do that, you'll see that it shifts and you can see it here on the screen as well from keyboard to keyboard. When you're in the English with international keyboard setting though, you can still type in standard English. It doesn't impact it in any way. So you can actually leave it to this setting all the time and not use the shortcut to change it back and forth. So once you have your international keyboard activated, now you can start typing special characters. Now the important thing though is to remember that we have to use um, our alt key on the right side of our space bar. So you have two alt keys, ALT keys on your keyboard, one on the left and one on the right. So in order to be able to type the special characters, you want to make sure that you are using the alt that is on the right hand side of the space bar. So then from here, we have four pretty common Spanish words, all right, and you'll notice that they are not properly accented, all right. So what we do is when we go to type the letter that we want to have the accent, we hold down that alt key and type the letter, and now you can see my I has an accent. Here, the E would get the accent. I hold down alt, type my E, and now my E has the accent in two, and then also the tilde over the N oops, in Banyo. And that's it. Again, you can toggle between the US keyboard and the international keyboard if you wanted to, but it's not necessary.